Hey everyone, uh, welcome back on the channel again. Welcome back to another episode of 3.1.3 frame generation video. We are back with uh, Clear Obscur Expedition 33, or I am just gonna call it Expedition 33 because that's more easier. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, the game is released two to three days back and uh, developed in Unreal Engine 5.4, latest version of Unreal Engine and as a result as you can see FPS is very trash like right now I am playing on uh, 1080p DLSS quality with everything on medium and uh, the FPS is only around 60 to 65 which is not very bad it's playable but yeah it should be more than 70 to 80 based on the game's graphics and looks so this is going to be a little bit different as it uh, includes some different thing uh, rather than our uh, normal installation and optics color along with that uh, some in-game settings are also required to make the mod and hood fix work so yeah we will start the video now without any delay Alright, first thing first you need to set these in-game settings in order to make the mod work uh, you need to head into the setting then go to graphics and uh, scroll up at the top of the graphics section and set the scaling type to tsr don't use the xcss or dlss this game does not have fsr i'm telling again uh, but yeah don't use dlss or xcss just uh, set the scaling type to tsr or your game will crash on startup after uh, installing the mod uh, scaling mode you can set it to anything so yeah i'm just setting the tsr and medium then applying it and now i will quit the game and begin the installation of mod okay now after quitting the game we will be needing this zip expedition 33 fsr 3.1.3 i'm gonna extract it to the desktop the hood fix now uh, require a different method uh, which i will show you after pasting the mod and uh, going in game so we're gonna copy everything from the mod folder then go to the installation folder of the game for me which is here clear of square expedition uh, now this mod includes file from the latest of this killer uh, preview 9 uh, so after opening the game installation folder we will go to sandfall then binaries win64 where the sandfall win64 shipping.exe is located we will be pasting the mod right here and replacing the files which it asks for after that uh, double click on the office class setup.bat same the window will open up dxgi will do fine in this game so press 1 for dxgi and press enter after that select your gpu 1 for amd intel 2 for nvidia this process is really simple nothing extraordinary in this process but yeah there are some setting required i'm pressing 2 for nvidia there are some setting required in game in order to make the hook fix work properly with the optiscalar config all right now after the setup is complete we will run this optiscalar.ini mm, as normal text editor so i'm using the normal notepad and from here we will go to the frame gen section and in the fg type it's set to auto we will delete this and type opti fg just like this our text make sure there is no space before on in front of the text after or before and then we'll click on file click on save now what you can do is uh, run the dlss override and double click on the enable signature override click on yes and ok and uh, i also recommend you to activate the hack slash hardware accelerated graphics setting which you can find by going to windows search menu and type in graphics click on this graphics setting and you will be landed into this hardware accelerated gp setting page so if it's not on then turn it on restart your pc this is needed in order to um, gain the frame generation uh, i've told this again and again and yeah i'm telling it again so yeah now i'll dive back into the game and i'll show you what optics are needed in order to gain the proper hood fix and how much fps we're getting with the mods so yeah let's dive into the game now getting virus and malware by installing the cracked version of windows activator then fear no more get windows 10 and 11 legit microsoft genuine serial key at just 249 rupees all right uh, we are back inside the game same location same fps around 60 so in order to gain access to the opti scaler we will need to set the game subscaler to dlss so go to setting then go to graphics and 
from the spelling type set it to dlss you can use any preset balance performance quality i'm using the quality press apply yes now come back to the game and uh, press the ins slash insert key on the keyboard and you will be greeted with this ui i'm making it a little bit smaller so you guys can see it clearly now from here uh, we will click on the fg active it will generate the frames for us now you can see it's around 1999 but there is wood flicker so in order to fix the hood properly we will need to use a custom limit so first click on the hood fix then activate the debug view and these two tiles look at these two tiles maybe i'll zoom in a little bit and after that uh, change this hood fix limit by some margin so for me the three hood fix limit is working very fine now how do you know if it's working fine for you or not when you switch to one you will see this center one is little bit smoother compared to the right bottom one but when you set it to three you will see the center one is as sharp as the right bottom one so what you need to do is match these two tiles sharpness so for me the three is enough sharp for these two tiles like they are similar but in this three foot fix uh, you can get some black bars around your screen when the cinematic is being played so in that case use the hood fix limit 7 and that will be uh, fixed also like the black bars so yeah it's really trial and error type of method uh, for me 3 or 7 is working fine for me 3 is giving me some black bars during cinematics and 7 is totally fixed so yeah do try but i think 3 and 7 are the best bet for you like one will make your uh, texture a little bit smoother like in this one a little bit smoother compared to this one so yeah again make sure these two are same color same sharpness and uh, yeah do trial and error and you will get to the point eventually so now i'll show you the fps which we are getting uh, with the mod it's around uh, 90 9500 uh now i'll engage into a combat and i will show you guys if the hook fix is working properly or not so activate the debug view and you will see that the right bottom one is with the hood and the center bottom one is without the hood uh, now this game's combat system is very uh, what do you say uh, boring uh, i don't like this type of combat system i like open combat system more like uh, fighting and everything like they will make the type of third person action and fighting but this is turn based fighting and i don't like this maybe if it's not turn based fighting then i would have uh, played this game very much but yeah anyway it is what it is so yeah as you can see hood fix is working properly and uh, now i'll deactivate the hood fix uh, sorry debug you okay i hope this video will help you if this helps you consider subscribing to the channel uh, if you are facing any issue then comment down below or join discord and discuss with me and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one so until then cheers